let's talk first about top dead center here. Obviously, the R66 has got everybody, all of Twitter at this point, especially now with a price and some numbers out. As I understand it, your original design goals for the 66 have never been compromised, and you've got the helicopter you wanted. Yes, it's, it's exactly the helicopter that we wanted, and we have not been dis disappointed in any of its performance specifications or any other specifications that we had planned for it. So it's doing everything that we wanted it to do. And that's kind of unusual, because usually you have to compromise someplace along the line. But so far, it's, it's just the ship that we really wanted to design and build. As compared to development programs you undertook for various versions of the 22 and then, of course, various versions of the 44, what was it like developing a turbine helicopter after bu building pistons for so many years? It, d it didn't really make any difference. Horsepower is horsepower, right? And um, granted, it's going to burn a little more fuel, as the turbines always do, but almost every other uh, aspect of it is, is pretty much the same. One thing that's obviously been more difficult over the years is certification issues have gotten tighter, more restrictive, and more complex as we've gone on. How is it working with the FAA over the R66? You've got to be a known quantity to them and vice versa by now, right? Yes, and uh, the FAA actually has been, has been good to work with. They've been as cooperative as they can, but the change in the regulations that occurred a few years back that added all of the crashworthy requirements and post-crash requirements. Those were new, and they, uh, they, they were a little bit more complicated and tougher than what we had really expected. Cirrus Design's Vision SJ50 single-engine personal jet offers exceptional fuel efficiency, flexible seating for up to seven, advanced avionics, and all the Cirrus safety features you expect including the Cirrus Airframe Parachute System. With its detailed design, the Cirrus Vision is technologically advanced, yet engineered to be simple to fly, to allow owner pilots more lifestyle pursuits than any other personal aircraft. Learn more about the Vision SJ50 at cirrusdesign.com. What can we expect between now and eventual deliveries? Oh gosh, we should be through with our certification and any other problems or developments that we needed to have so that we would be delivering helicopters easily in, in this coming six months. But I could be wrong. It's, sometimes things will sneak out of the woodwork that you haven't really expected and you have to go back to page one. But uh, I, don't, I don't think that's going to happen in this case. Now, how will the initial allocation and deployment of uh, the machines occur? In the past, with the 44 in particular, you kept those helicopters close to home initially uh, so as to be able to maintain type supervision. Are you going to do the same thing this time around? Uh, we'll do it to the extent that we can, yes, because we would much rather have the early helicopters close to home so that if we do uncover something that needs to be changed, they can easily fly back to the factory and we'll make all the changes for them. In your press conference the other day, easily the most well-attended press conference at Heli Expo this year, you were talking about some of the things that will occur post uh, initial certification in the 66. You mentioned air conditioning and floats as a, a primary issue. Let's talk about where those stand and by the way, are we ever going to see a glass panel Robbie? Oh, I, I wouldn't attempt to predict one way or the other on the glass panel. Is there some advantages to it? And some disadvantages. Our big concern, of course, is we want this uh, panel that's going to be the safest one for the pilot to use when he's flying. And it always worries me a little bit when you make a change that requires the pilot to look inside the cabin at the instrument panel instead of looking outside the cabin for wires, other aircraft, other obstacles. So that's always a uh, kind of a compromise to me, and I'm not sure I'm ready to, um, willing to make that particular compromise at this time yet. If you own a Cirrus today or if you're considering the purchase of a new or used aircraft, consider this. Avidine, in conjunction with the country's leading Cirrus sales and maintenance facilities, has launched the G3R9 program that combines the purchase of a late model, low time Cirrus aircraft and the addition of the Avidine Integra Release 9 avionics suite for much less than you may have thought, and certainly much less than purchasing a brand new aircraft. G3R9.
combining the best airframe, best engine, and best avionics for the best value. And air conditioning and floats. But how soon might we see those? Yeah, I don't see any problem with going ahead with the, with the uh, air conditioning, and that will be one of our top priority development programs, especially the pop-out floats have been very popular and have worked very, very well. And they're very easy to use and nice to fly and all that. So that, that also will be a quite a high uh, top priority program. Where do you see the initial market for the 66? I mean, this is going to be a private ship. We've been hearing quite a few operators talking about the economies of scale for initial turbine training to be pretty extreme. Well, I don't expect any problem with the turbine training other than changing uh, and, and memorizing just a few things in the starting procedure that you have to watch out for. That's it. Because the ship itself flies just like the, very much like the R44. It just, you have got, you've got that power reserve that is going to be very comforting in tough, tight situations.